I am on top of the mountain in Saint Adele where I can have uh, 360 degrees of the mountain and God bless that this door here was not locked because it's so windy outdoor that uh, you know I, I I could not uh, take uh, my phone and uh, uh, start recording outdoor so God bless the person who didn't, didn't lock this door because that gave me the opportunity to uh, share uh, this footage with you and this is after meditation uh, it was not easy because the, uh, the snow was, melt, uh, was melting uh, but now it's getting colder and um, yeah um, coming here uh, the lesson of all of this here uh, of you know because uh, every time I climb a mountain there is like something to learn uh, well uh, I meet a guy that was uh, with a machine uh, making uh, the fat bike uh, path you know and um, yeah I was not walking on his path I was cutting through you know to climb to the top and he said to me you know when it's a melt, uh, melting snow like this, you should walk in the street. You say that to me like, like, <laughs> like who you think you are, man? I am the hero of my story. And you, for saying stupid things like that to me, you are the cameo. You know, you try to hold on to me because I am the hero of my story and I am making my divine life mission alignment. Um, you know why I know this is because me I never do those things you know like I never bother other people that are doing their their own thing around me I'm so focused on doing my own mission that I never gonna do what he did to me especially like I'm not hurting his path you know but I understand that since he's a Cameo is not doing his divine life mission purpose. He, it's stronger than him that he, when he sees somebody in his light and doing his mission, unconsciously he's gonna try to like uh, get my, uh, my attention, you know. But I didn't fall for his trap because I like like it was a, it was clear that I was not on his path. And if he didn't talk to me, I would just continue. Like I would say hi to him and move, keep moving forward. But he really take the time to slow me down and, you know, tell me all the story. But you know why? Because he was afraid. Like in his mind, he see me and he say, Oh my God, someone and he gonna, he gonna screw up all my path and fear. Someone who is a cameo, who is not the hero of his story, is, is full of fear. And if this person is full of fear, it's because they, they, don't, uh, they don't work on their inner self. You know, they don't do the cleaning that needs to take place inside. So they are just cultivating fear. So that's what happened and uh, by the way you know um, yeah the snow it's melting and it was really not easy to get here I say this but I make it like it was easy like I, I arrive on top it was really windy and like I'm already here wow that went fast uh, quantum leap quantum jump you know that's what I did to land here and it's pretty good because where I did my meditation, I, I was uh, like uh, against a, a post like this and uh, the wind was passing next to me, not in my back. So I could have like a really profound med meditation and you know that's the lesson. The lesson is that like I am the hero of my story and when things like this happen, when a guy try to slow me down of my path, he's a cameo. It's like, 
like in the movie cab driver number one you know uh like uh, uh, random people that you see at the end of the generic that nobody read that it doesn't matter who they are that's what happened you know so i should never never be affected by cab number one or cab number two because you know they are just like uh, people that uh, pass by and uh, you know it, it, they are not uh, other heroes of their story that are important for me to uh, keep in mind you know like this is just like a lesson to under like they are important just to understand the lesson and move on you know Uh, so uh, uh, no reason to get angry no re reason to uh, keep thinking about them or dwell on them or uh, whatever uh, came up uh, because of them well just try to figure it out uh, what was your uh, position at that moment and me I was like a on a mission to climb to the top to the mountain so of course i'm the hero of my story especially when in the parking down there was only two cars and uh, uh, when i i start climbing like nobody was on the mountain uh, uh, except the guy with the machine uh, so like i am the hero of my story so you know Uh, if I meet another hero of, of his story, well, this hero will talk about his dream, gonna talk about inspiration things and motivation things and, you know, it's gonna be like a really uh, high vibration. But this cameo was not high vibration, you know, he was like uh, trying just to uh, uh, take take time from me and slow me down and you know uh, you know th that's what cameo does they try to slow you down you know or they just play their part uh, that is uh, not important for you to succeed your mission like if he was not there I would still climb on top and I would still uh, be here but I understand that like I said It's not that important, but there wa it was a part of the lesson. So they are important, but not to like dwell on them and like put all your energy towards them. That's what I mean, you know. Yes, they are important, but not for you to make a big deal about them. You need to like uh, take it with a pinch of salt and uh, uh, keep moving forward. So that's the lesson of me climbing that mountain and it's the first time that I mount that I climbed this mountain. I say this but I'm not sure. No, it's not the first time. I don't know anymore. It's funny when this happened, I climbed so many mountains um, that I don't know anymore. But I know one thing. It's always a pleasure to come here and breathe in this good prana 360 and see all the tops of the mountain and it's so peaceful here. The only thing you can hear, it's the wind. I need to leave but I see this small heater. I plug it in, no power. I turn the switch on, power is on. I got some heat. How cool is that? I can have a 360 degrees view on top of the mountain with some heat a roof windows a door and I eat my protein bar like how cool is that you know this is really really cool so when I'm ready to go back well at least my hand is not cold I'm well rested so I can go back because the way to come here it's really up and down up and down in uh, melting snow but uh, like it's so it's getting colder so uh, like when I gonna go back uh, everything is gonna be uh, more hard and since I have my spike 
uh, it's gonna go really well uh, to go back so that's why life give me this moment here in um, in that little cabin so uh, like it's gonna be much easier to go back than to come here because it was not easy um, yeah so uh, you know uh, use your imagination and enjoy you know normally when I come here on top I do my meditation and I go back right away but today I, I came here er more early than all the other times and I don't come here often this is new from last year so uh, it's a new mountain for me um, but it's the, the best place where you can have the best view and uh, well some heat getting ready to leave and the sun show itself and like you can see there the sky is getting clear and I'm going that way down and after up so here we go going down the mountain well now there is a car that arrived but just before I record I was the only one in the park just for you know I don't know you know what the fuck is going on but <clears throat> the car who arrived well it was the cameo who was making the trail and he said to me uh, I hope you don't pass on my trail like I say uh, not really uh, anyway and he say uh, anyway we have a, a small conversation because you know cameo have small talk and uh, at the end he just say oh, I'm just here to pass the message he say a uh, lie say yeah but uh, Oh, you're, I say, you're already in your car? No, he said, yeah, I was at the other place and I come back next to my friend live here and uh, I come here to see in the parking if there was lots of people. Are you kidding me? You know, like, like not, not, nothing of this story makes sense, you know? That's why I, I say it's a cameo. It's the one that is not playing his part in his movie and he tried to hold on because he knew that me I was in my I was creating my own story. And this is the first time it highlights so much but the fact that he's there when I come back to my car it's a sign that, that like th what he's doing is what many people uh, that is in their own story experience. You know, but me, I, I experienced this. It's just I, I never really realized that these people were cameo. They were like uh, cab number one, cab number two in the movie. That, like, we, we should not care, you know. There is a small lesson to learn. Like, like this is because it's, it's a cameo and I need to understand that. But uh, there is many people uh, along our journey when we are on a mission that we don't care who they are you know like they are only a cameo they are not pursuing their dream and that's the lesson that you want to learn in that video is that are you the hero of your story or you are the cameo by the way the cameo the the guy that told me to not go on this path well he play a part in the story. Like he was able to make a, 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 the part, you know? He played the part in, in my movie of the guy that make the path that don't want me to walk on this trail. But me, I'm not walking on this trail. I'm walking like uh, where is not this trail. But, but when you look at the scenario, he was there before I arrived, so like, and me, it was not planned that I come climb this mountain. I was supposed to go to St. Marguerite. I came to St. Adele to get my protein bar. That's it. But I say to myself, fate into the unknown. 
I, I'm gonna climb that mountain. Uh, I don't know how, but I'm gonna make it. And I did it. And you know, this guy, he play a part in the middle of the story and at the end. Like, that's the only two parts in my entire story but he, he, he make the cut, you know, but he was already there, you know? I have no other choice because there is nobody else. It's just to make the story more entertaining. That's it. That's why he said to be like a robot twice. Oh, it's just to pass the message. Oh, it's just to pass the message. Like, you know, a small talk, like it, it was small talk, nothing like... Uh, really important what he was talking about uh, yeah you know it's like a, a cameo it's a it's a, a, a personage that just like you see five seconds and after he's gone and you know it was just to to fill up your story you know for a brief moment and in the story that you watch here you don't even see it you just hear me speak about it you know so he don't even make the cut to be in my video filming it you know because it was not that important That's what I got after climbing on top of the mountain. You know, it was beautiful on top, but here in the valley with the sun, clear sky, frozen lake, it's beautiful. Oh, yes. And that, it's a wrap. Epic climb, epic view, all day. Oh yeah, that's what you got when you expand your comfort zone and uh, fade into the unknown. And uh, definitely uh, do what you love. Even how hard it is, it's worth Oh.